Uh, hi, I am Dr. Srikant, Pediatric Gastroenterology Consultant at uh, Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. So I am going to tell you about the liver disease in children. It is a myth that children do not develop liver disease. No, children do develop liver disease and majority of them are uh, something called metabolic liver disease. So they are uh, inherited because of the defects in the, uh, the genetics and uh, they are mostly inherited but sometimes they can present as a first time in the family. Uh, so uh, there are various uh, metabolic liver diseases, so to count them um, predominantly we see something called tyrosinemia, galactosemia, mitochondriopathies and many more to count on and one of the important seen in large majority of the children and uh, very lethal is Wilson disease, probably most of you have heard about that. So what, why do they develop these problems because this is due to defect in handling various molecules in the body and liver uh, bears the brunt of the effect of that accumulation. So how can we detect it? Yes, uh, they usually present with either jaundice or some symptoms related to liver. Uh, so very shrewd and uh, critical investigations can pick them up. Uh, so if we pick up them earlier, then uh, the treatment would be with the dietary modification or some medications which they can be normalized. If, uh, if it is picked up in a later stage, if it is advanced, then the treatment would be either a transplantation or some other advanced surgical options. So, we, so it is better to pick them at, at an earlier stage. So here at Manipal, we have all the facilities. So we do see a lot of uh, liver diseases in children since it is a referral center. Um, and we have all the facilities uh, starting from diagnostic till the therapeutic option, including pediatric liver transplantation for various uh, these metabolic disorders. And we also do some kind of advanced uh, type of transplants like uh, uh, ABO incompatible and all those things, which are not done in many of the other centers. Uh, so uh, these are the aspects of metabolic liver disease. So today I'm going to tell you about endoscopy in children. So you know that endoscopy is done routinely for evaluation of the GI problems and uh, it is uh, one of the routinely practiced uh, uh, procedure in adult uh, medicine or adult gastroenterology practice. But it is done in children, even in a smallest child. So we have done uh, as small as a child of uh, around two days old to remove a foreign body. So this is done for various reasons like to diagnose as well as to give some type of treatments related to intestinal defects. So uh, going further, so we have something called uh, wireless capsule endoscopy. So uh, that, is a, that is a different aspect as compared to the conventional endoscopy. So capsule endoscopy is, is like a pill uh, which we take as a medication. It is of that size and it, it has a continuous video recorder and it moves through the small intestine. So uh, in a smaller child where we can't endoscope or we can't see the small intestine, we can just use the capsule endoscopy and it is absolutely a painless, comfortable uh, procedure. So this can be used to diagnose various small intestinal diseases like unexplained bleed, pain abdomens and even inflammatory bowel disease of the small intestine and many other congenital malformation related to small intestine. So at Manipal we are doing it routinely. Uh, and uh, this has uh, made a significant difference for, difference for many children who have been uh, roaming around without any diagnosis and uh, suffering a lot and this has given them a, a ray of hope and things have changed significantly after uh, use of this and I urge you to uh, help the patients in, with proper guidance and referral so that they can get a care at an appropriate time.